to watch video. Sir, who are you? Uh, my name is Tim Ardour. I'm with uh, Monsanto Security. We're demoing uh, ragweed uh, here at Black Hat. Uh, ragweed is a framework for writing custom scriptable debuggers in Ruby. We use it to write uh, in memory fuzzers, hit tracers, basically any general binary reversing tool. I've been working with Monsanto for about three years now. Uh, we do penetration testing basically in time. Okay. Um, what's the purpose of Ragweed? It's for writing custom scriptable debuggers. So when you're, when you're doing penetration testing for a application, you need different tools than a normal developer uses. So when you're using something like uh, a developer would use Visual Studio to, to do some debugging in their thing to find a location where the, the process is, where their program is, is not doing what they expect, they uh, are okay with all the manual parts of it because that's what they want. They want to very slowly step yeah. through and watch exactly what's happening. A researcher doesn't need that. We need a lot more automation out of it because we don't know exactly where we're looking at. The first, you know, the first things we do is just set it up, attach a debugger, and wait for the process to crash by throwing garbage at it. Yeah. yeah you know, sure. We also want to set a whole bunch of breakpoints against functions that we see in the process, the locations we see in the process that might be interesting just to find out how often they get hit. So usually the, you want to know what functions get, that get hit, what functions get hit frequently, and what functions get hit infrequently. So if it's a function that gets hit all the time, that is a spot where if we, if we happen to find something, which is not as likely, but if we find something, it's going to be uh, more devastating if it's a function that doesn't get hit all that much, we know that it's unlikely that the quality uh, of that function is a lot lower. So we're likely to find something and narrow in on those two positions. But having a scriptable debugger like uh, those you can build with Ragweed makes it a lot easier to get to that point where you're doing some very directed, focused attacks against certain functions that, you, that you're more interested in. Yeah. And what's the main feature of Ragweed? The main feature? So, Ragweed is all about being able to write those custom tools very quickly. I mentioned that, that using it as a hit tracer is very simple, very quick. The demo I have here today was 85 lines of Ruby code to attach to a process, trace, you know, do some hit tracing to find out how many times each function that I'm setting a breakpoint on gets hit. And on top of that, I'm also writing the arguments of those functions out and playing with them as the process runs in memory. So the, the child process that, that I'm testing against and demoing with winds up with an unexpected result, which is exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. Okay. See how well the child handles it. Okay. Jimur, uh, could you give us a sneak preview of the next coming releases, something cooking hot? Something coming up? Right now we're working on adding 64-bit support, so that this should be very soon to, to Ragweed. It already runs on Linux, Windows, and OS X. Right after we get 64-bit support running, we'll be adding BSD support, so the, the people using FreeBSD, OpenBSD, and NetBSD can start doing this yeah. as well. We should also be unifying the APIs between the, the, the supported operating systems. So you don't need to know when you're writing your debugger that you're going to be on Windows. It is going to be 32-bit. You can just set it up so that it, when it hits a breakpoint, you look at the instruction point this is awesome. or the base point or the stack point. You don't need to worry about you know RIP versus EIP and stuff like that. It's yes, great. Bound Tim. for the next round. Great. Timur, we are really appreciating your contribution. Thanks so very much. Thank you. This is Timur, Ragweed. Thanks. Thank you.